Hi, this is Larry Jordan. Here's a question that came out of one of our recent webinars that I want to share with you. There we go, Richard. When adding stabilization, is there a way to make it only apply to the small clips you are using instead of the entire clip? Uh, no. The way that stabilization works is it needs to analyze the way the... Well, here's why you don't want that. And here's the decision Apple had to make. If Apple were to analyze the stabilization of the just the small portion you wanted, and if you trimmed that clip by even a frame, it would need to reanalyze the entire clip all over again. So let's say that you weren't quite exactly sure where you wanted to go, and then you applied a dissolve or whatever, you'd have to go back and reanalyze that whole clip. Apple says, yes, you could work it that way, but you'd go completely nuts because every time you made a single change, you'd have to go back and restabilize. So instead, Apple goes through and analyzes the entire clip so that regardless of where you set the in, regardless of where you set the out, or regardless of how you trim it or add a dissolve, it only has to analyze once. It doesn't have to analyze again. So the reason that Apple made that choice is they had two options. And one takes a little bit longer, which is analyzing the whole clip, but you never have to analyze again. The other, we'd be complaining because every time we did a one-frame trim, it would have to go back and reanalyze the entire clip. It would drive us all nuts. So the answer, that's the long answer to no. <laughs> oh, here's a workaround, though. If you've got, say, a one-hour clip and you only need to stabilize five seconds, then select just the five, make it ten seconds you need to stabilize. Export that as a standalone QuickTime movie. Bring that QuickTime movie back in and analyze just the ten seconds. As it, it only analyzes the source clip. So if your source clip is short, it just analyzes a short portion of it. This is an excerpt from one of our recent Power Up webinars, but we've got lots more training available. Just visit LarryJordan.biz.